Originally, the idea was to hand out um, like 100 cameras and get people to film their own journeys and then sort of compile that footage into, uh, into, into a film from, you know, uh, the refugees from their own point of view. I am under one of the lorries. So it's, it's a great idea, but it doesn't replace sort of embedding with someone and going on that journey with them. So we ended up following 12 people, probably, um, on that journey. And out of those 12, we used seven main contributors in the, in the cut. And what we're asking for them to do is, is, to, is to film with a sort of filmmaker's head on when they're in the midst of something which is quite stressful for them. And what amazed me is that some of them actually did it. <laughs> at times where you just think it would probably be much easier for them not to have had that extra responsibility. Some of them found it useful. Some of them found actually having that extra responsibility sort of took them out of the moment and made them look at it more objectively and it found, they, they found that useful. Others found it um, difficult and didn't do it and that's, that's fine. Collecting footage was difficult because you know, ideally you'd, just, you'd, 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 you'd upload it, we'd download it. But um, that takes, to be in a place with internet connection, it takes uh, to have enough data on your phone and, um, and it takes time. So what we were doing would be, we'd, we'd give them cards. So here's, here's a camera, if you've already got a camera, great, take some extra cards with you. Fill those cards up and we'll be in contact and probably pick them up from you at some point and collect them that way. That, well, that sounds quite simple, but when you put into the mix that people are traveling across borders and then those SIMs in those cards then don't work as soon as you go from Turkey to Greece or from Greece to Serbia, you need a new SIM in your card, um, which gives them a new number as well. So all the numbers you have for them are old. They've got your number, but they often, you know, what happens if they don't have credit on their phone and they can't phone you to let you know what their new number is. And then you're sort of driving through Germany Asking your, asking your contributor to look out the window, what, what signposts can you see? You know, and I remember once we were, there was a, a guy who was pretty sure he was headed to Berlin because he saw a sign of Berlin, so we, we drove all the way to Berlin um, to find out that actually he'd gone to Dresden. So we have to then you know, double back, back to Dresden to try and find him again. If someone's gonna incur a cost because of something you're asking them to do, like try and upload footage, or try and give you their new number by phoning you all the time, then it's fair enough to cover those expenses, which means you can put credit on their phone and you can, you can sort of help them that way. If, if uh, where, 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 where you have to draw the line, I think, is where you sort of um, affect their story in some way, either, either holding them up or helping them on. So yeah, it's difficult to say, come on, will give you a lift even when it's raining and you feel sorry for them when you've got a car and they're walking on foot um, I think ethically you know you, you have to you can't you can't you can't have too much effect on their situation that way <laughs>